Hi, how are you going? Robin Papworth from Play Move Improve. We're really stuck at home at the moment. I hope you're all doing okay and I hope that your family are okay. I decided to share a few different numeracy and literacy activities as we go through these really tough few weeks and I wanted to put my gross motor skills and fine motor skills spin on it. So to give you an idea of what we're going to talk about today, I'm talking about place value. Now, the reason why I'm talking about place value is Isla came home from school saying that this is what we're doing in maths. And I just thought, well, place value playing with blocks is fun, but let's add a bit of a gross motor skills element. So in this next video, you'll see an activity where they're involving gross motor skills and numeracy and also some partner work. So if you're trying to keep those siblings avoiding them from fighting and instead trying to get them to do some teamwork then give this activity a go any questions feel free to ask so what you'll see in this video is isla and hugh sitting down on the ground hugh's given isla a number and it was in the ten thousand section isla uses that number and creates the number with the hands and the feet cut out by using the mask intake line columns it just made it a little bit easier for isla to know which column each number goes in I then you can see Hugh just waiting his turn. He'll get his turn next time where they completely swap roles. But what I love about this activity, it's also encouraging Isla to flick through the different hands and feet and find the numbers she needs. As she creates the number, it's then Hugh's turn to go up to the wall and challenge his gross motor skills by following the sequence that's on the floor. So, for example, the sequence on the floor is a left foot, then a right hand, then a left foot, then a left hand, and then a left foot. And you can see Hugh really have to work his both sides of his brain being able to understand which hand and which foot to look for. What I love about this activity, and I hope you were able to follow the instructions, was that it encourages both sides of the children's development. So Isla's challenge was around place value, and we practiced different place values in the hundreds, in the thousands, and in the ten thousands. Hugh found that really easy. He finds maths really quite simple. So he had to work on his patience with Isla standing beside her not giving her the answer letting her try to work it out which was really I was really proud of him for being able to do that a year ago he would have been telling her this is the answer and why don't you know the answer yet so it was really working on Isla's numeracy skills what I love then was it worked on Hugh's gross motor skills so Hugh had to really try and keep his balance he had to try and use his core strength he had to be able to feel his left and his right side and get the left foot and the right hand correct you could see he made a few errors in there which is fantastic for developing those skills and also it was the teamwork they we talk about with the twins we talk about that every child's different and that we all have different strengths and different challenges and it was really a great activity and I'm so glad we did it because it was a great activity for developing that teamwork and that resilience and that persistence so give that activity a go please share your vi videos and your photos online it helps us all feel connected during this really challenging time of course as we're all stuck at home in self-isolation please reach out you can find me on play move improve you can find me on instagram under my name robin papworth reach out any questions if you have an activity that you'd like more information on if you have a particular age group so if you have a little baby with an older child always happy to help so i'm here i'm not going anywhere so please share your feedback share your questions and enjoy this fun place value activity